Hey guys, today's video is about writing off uncollectible invoices with paid sales taxes. So I'm going to show you a few ways to do it in QuickBooks Online. But before we get into the more complicated scenarios, uh, let me show you first how to write off bad debts when sales taxes are not yet paid. Writing off bad debts requires two steps. First is to create a credit memo. And second step is to match that credit memo to the corresponding invoice. Now we will be writing off an invoice for Amy's Bird Sanctuary amounting to $1,080. So first, let's create a credit memo. Click on the plus new button. And under customers, click on credit memo. Now let's choose our customer, Amy's Bird Sanctuary, and on the Products and Services section, let's click on Add New. Then let's click on Non-Inventory. Then let's create an item called Bad Debts. Now we will link this item to the bad debts expense account. So if you still don't have one, you can also create a new account in here by clicking on add new. Uh, for your account type, choose expenses. For the detail type, choose bad debts and name this bad debts expense. Then hit on save and close. Then, hit on save and close again. The amount of the invoice we are writing off already includes sales tax of 8%, which means our tax exclusive uh, amount is $1,000. So let's put $1,000 in here. And make sure to click uh, the checkbox for tax. And then hit on save and close. So next step is to match the credit memo with the corresponding invoice. So click on the plus new button and under customers, click on receive payment. Then let's enter the customer. Then it's going to show you all of the open invoices this customer has so that you can choose which one you want to write off. So in this case, we are going to write off invoice number 1038. So uh, QuickBooks is going to automatically distribute the credit memo amount between the two invoices. So we, we are only going to apply this uh, on one of them. So it's best that we delete this first and then check the invoice we are going to write off. Make sure that the credit memo is also checked and make sure also that it has, uh, both of them has the same amount and then click on save and close and you're done now the procedure i showed you can only be used if the sales tax of an invoice is unpaid because in that case it's still safe for us to reverse the sales tax entry but what if we have already paid the sales tax here's what you should do so we are creating a credit memo for the same customer and we entered the same item but that's right off and for the same amount but this time we will make this non-taxable and then we will create another item so the item we will be creating here would depend on whether or not there is a high probability that you can get a refund from the government because these are sales taxes that you paid but you were not able to collect from customers so if there's a good chance you can get a refund from the government, create a new item and link that to an other asset account and that would represent the receivable you have from the government. So click on add new, click on non-inventory and name this refundable sales tax. Then link this to an other asset account and then click on save and close. Now let's enter the sales tax amount of $80 and let's also make this non-taxable. 
then you can hit on save and close now the tax exclusive amount will be posted into the bad debts expense account and the sales tax amount will be posted into the other asset account that represents uh, the receivable you have from the government now if the chance you can get a refund for the sales tax is slim the payment will be charged against the company funds which means you will have to record an expense now since bad debts expense is already an expense account you can just change this rate to a thousand and eighty dollars non-taxable and hit save and close or you can also separate the amount that represents the sales tax that you paid and record it as another item that is linked to a sales tax expense account okay so let's create a new item and click on non inventory and let's name this sales tax expense then let's link this to a new GL account let's choose other expense for the detail type let's choose other miscellaneous expense then let's name this sales tax expense then let's hit on save and close and hit on save and close again then enter the amount of the sales tax change this to a thousand dollars make this one non-taxable and hit on save and close and you're done so before you write off an uncollectible invoice, you need to go through three checkpoints. First is to check if the invoice is taxable. Second is to check if the sales tax was paid. And third, if the sales tax was paid, you need to check if you can get a refund from the government. This will help you decide what procedure to use so that you don't mess up your books. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.